So with the Uniswap, you've got a pair. And when you supply, you supply the same amount um, in terms of like dollar amount um, for both sides. So that's kind of how we went through uh, Uniswap. And it's a very simple formula in version two where we've got x times y equals k, and k is the invariant. So x is the number of tokens for uh, asset x, and y is the number of tokens for asset y. So uh, it's no surprise that given that this is a very basic sort of system, that somebody would come up with an idea to generalize. And that's what Balancer actually does. So Balancer is decentralized exchange. It's automated market maker, just like a Uniswap. And, uh, and basically what this protocol is able to do is to do more than two assets in a liquidity pool. And at the time of production, it was eight assets. So, and these can be uh, ERC-20 uh, tokens um, or uh, Ethereum. Okay, so, so this, is, uh, this is an innovation that generalizes to uh, this uh, initial structure by uh, Uniswap. So how does it actually work? And let me show you. So the formula, <laughs> Is, is basically uh, defines a bonding surface. So the formula that I showed you for Uniswap is a simple bonding curve. This is a, uh, this is a bonding surface. And the idea, if you can see that formula, is that the Bs represent the, uh, the balance of the tokens, and there can be more than two tokens. Uh, but if there were only two tokens, it would just be uh, a token X and token Y, basically X times Y. That um, operator uh, that um, says V equals, that's a product operator. So you multiply things. So in the simple example of a Uniswap, you would have x times y equals k. In this situation, we've got um, an exponent that represents the weight of the token. So if there was equal weight, then it would just be uh, x times y equals k. But the exponent allows for differential weights in terms of the assets that are contributed to the liquidity pool. So again, you've got the invariant, but the invariant is a, a more complex function. So the surface that I'm showing you here is for uh, three assets uh, in a pool rather than two. But uh, we can't do this diagram for eight, but you see the idea. So the idea basically is instead of x times y, uh, we can have x times y times z. And then we can have differential um, sizes of supply, and that's going to be determined by exponents on x and y and z. So this generalizes the formula in uh, Uniswap, and uh, it allows for uh, a pool to have multiple assets with different uh, sizes. So uh, this is uh, basically a mechanism to get exchange rates. We can figure out the pool value. Um, this you know, all obtains with this uh, fairly uh, simple mathematical uh, formula that is just a little more general. Um, there are some issues here. Um, there are some, some limits in terms of uh, the, the amount that you can swap uh, and a balancer a pool, and uh, you know what you can put in, what you can put out. Uh, there are some limits in actually doing this, and uh, there are transaction fees, 
and the liquidity pool controllers, so uh, those that kind of, kind of seed it, can, can set the fees. So the fees might be really, really cheap, uh, or they could be pretty expensive. So, uh, so this is part of that protocol also. Um, and it's also the case that impermanent loss uh, is an issue. And um, the, it's interesting in the balance or paper that I've got referenced uh, at the bottom, they look at different weightings and, uh, and determine how these weights contribute to uh, the impermanent loss. So, so this is overall uh, a, like a good idea. Of course, there are, there's slippage uh, as we would have with any automated uh, market uh, maker. We've got the order routers uh, like we've got uh, with Uniswap. Uh, all of this is part of this uh, really growing um, kind of interest in decentralized exchange and making it as efficient as possible. So not surprisingly, uh, Balancer also has a governance uh, token, uh, the BAL, and uh, there's a limit uh, to that token. And I've actually detailed where the token is allocated. So uh, the founders are getting um, one quarter of the balance, but uh, a substantial amount, 65%, is allocated to liquidity uh, holders. So this is also uh, an incentive uh, mechanism. So like all of these DeFi pro protocols, uh, you've got this ability to incent people to use uh, the protocol. And Balancer does that with the BAL uh, token.